Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at how to get the California Electrician Certification. Now the Electrician Certification is issued by the California Department of Industrial Relations and it's for anyone working under a C10 electrical contractor making connections of greater than 100 volts. There are five different sub-classifications including the General Electrician, Residential Electrician, Fire Life Safety Technician, voice data video technician, and non-residential lighting technician. However, in this video, we're just going to be focusing on the most common, which is the general electrician. Now, let's take a quick look at the distinction between a C10 license and an electrical certification. So, a C10 electrical contractor is somebody that's bidding on electrical projects over $500. More often than not, this is a business owner or some type of qualified entrepreneur that's bidding on projects, looking to scale a business or some type of service. And these individuals are uh, overseen by the Contractor State License Board, also known as the CSLB. Now, a certified electrician typically is an employee or some type of journeyman. This is a qualified person on a job site that works under somebody that has a C-10 license. And they're overseen by the Department of Industrial Relations. Now, this is not a rule of thumb. In many cases, individuals that hold the C-10 license are also themselves employees. They could be responsible managing employees or responsible managing officers. Um, this is just kind of a broad look at the two scopes that fall under these two particular classifications. Now, let's look at the requirements to get your general electrical certification. So first and foremost, you have to have completed an apprenticeship program or have 8,000 hours of on-the-job experience that you can verify through a social security number. In addition to that, you'll need to pass the electrical certification exam. Now, this is going to be an exam based on the National Electrical Code. It's going to be 100 questions. You'll get four hours to take it. You'll need a 70% score to pass. It's going to be open book. It is offered in Spanish, and you can retake it within 60 days if you fail. Now, the exam will cover electrical system requirements, which will represent about 22% of the test. Installation will represent about 66% of the exam. Maintenance and repair will represent 6%. And then, of course, safety will represent 6%. Now, the fees associated with the electrical certification are an examination fee and an administrative fee. Now, we've got the most up-to-date fees that you can find in the description below this video. Now, when it comes to renewals and continuing education, you will need to renew your certification every three years, and you'll need to have completed at least 2,000 hours of work in order to renew. In addition to that, you'll need to have at least 32 hours of continuing education. Now, the application processing time typically fluctuates. You can expect anywhere between four to six weeks um, for them to process your application and give you an examination date. But again, this kind of fluctuates depending on what time of year you're sending your application. Now, there are exam locations in Northern California as well as Southern California and also Nevada and Oregon. You'll be issued uh, an exam location date um, and location based on where exactly you live. Now, when it comes to preparing for the certification exam, as I said before, the exam is based on the National Electrical Code. It is open book, so your big concern is really going to be making sure that you're able to navigate the book as quickly as possible, find the answers to the questions as quickly as possible. Um, practice exams can be extremely helpful for this. Um, tabs, all kinds of different um, study kind of uh, assistance when it comes to how to navigate the National Electrical Code book as quickly as possible. Um, now we've got resources that you can check out in the top right hand corner for that. And then of course mathematics. It's an electrical exam. So mathematics are really going to be huge. You're going to want to make sure that you're really tight when it comes to math. Just want to thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Again, this is Zach from digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.